Hey guys, in this lesson I'm going to be breaking down Our God Reigns uh, by Israel Honan and B.J. Putnam. It's in the key of B, so it's, there's the scale of B. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So the intro starts off um, by doing this. So we have our, our one, and then we're gonna do four to the one with this melody. So the chord I'm using is um, B, G flat, G flat, B, D flat, and E flat. And then to the four, I have um, E, B, G flat, A flat, B and E. And we'll go back to the first chord. Then we go to the five. I'm doing more like a suspended or a, a two chord. So we have the G flat, D flat, G flat, A flat, and D flat. So we have a, a E, B, and I just kind of do do a G flat, B, and D flat to give it more of an open feel. Um, so that part goes. Back to the one. And then uh, we get to the verse. So the verse, um, is the same both times. There's just one minor difference in this, the second time around. Uh, so let's start off with the, the main progression. So we have the one. So we have B, G flat, G flat, B, D flat, E flat. Five, G flat, D flat, D flat, G flat, A flat, D flat. And you can add that B flat if you like. I'm doing like a one over the the four. E, B, G flat, B, E flat. I'm just following the melody. You can add the E flat as well. So we have. Then we go back to our one again. So the second time they do the verse, they just emphasize the melody a little bit more. So. And then we do this. So we're doing the one. So it's a regular one. I'm just putting the melody on top. Go to the six, put the melody on top, then we go to a five, G flat, D flat, G flat, A flat, and D flat. So that first chord was a the same chord, the same one chord with just a melody on top. So B, G flat, B, D flat, E flat, A flat. Then we go to uh, an A flat, E flat, G flat. B, E flat, then we go to that five chord, and then we go back to the same four, the E, B, G flat, A flat, B, E flat, to the B. So I'm gonna play it one, once more. Okay, so then we get to the uh, pre-chorus, and the progression for that starts on the four. 
just a regular four. So E, B, you could do an E, G flat, A flat, B if you like. You can add that E flat if you like. Or you could leave it more open and just do the E, B, E, G flat, and E. So up to you, uh, kind of how you want to make it sound. So there's different options. So then we go to the the six, which is the, the uh, A flat, E flat, and we're I'm doing the G flat, A flat, and B, keeping the melody on top. Then we go to the one, same one that we've been doing, the B, E flat, G flat, B, D flat, E flat. Then we go to our five, same five that we've been using, the G flat, D flat, G flat, A flat, D flat. And then we repeat it. We go to the back to the to the the four, six, and then instead of going to the one, we go to the five. One thing I like to do with these kind of melodies, I don't really use a lot of chords. What I do is I do a lot of like, I open it. So here I'm just going, I'm doing an E, B, A flat, A flat, E flat, B, B, G flat, E flat, um, G flat, G flat, A flat, and D flat. I like to keep it a little bit more open and that gives you the liberty to kind of move around a little bit. Uh, one movement that I did while I was playing, I was going um, on the five. So I did the G flat, I'm outlining the five. So I have the G flat, D flat, B flat. Then I move up to the B flat. I have the G flat, D flat. I do the same thing, but starting on B. So B, G flat, E flat. Then we have the E flat, B with the G flat. So we have, when I get to the four, I do an E. I twang uh, the G flat to the A flat with the D flat on top. Then I do an E flat, G flat, D flat. So I do that same movement here. So I have B, I have, I'm twinging the D flat to the E flat with the A flat on top. And then I go down to the B flat with the D flat and A flat. And then I resolve to the A flat. And then um, you can do a a G flat to a B. So it sounds. So um, I wouldn't do that all the time. It's just um, something different. So this is how it would sound. The regular progression. And this is how it sounds with the movement. pre-chorus on the four and I like to walk that melody up so we have the E and B and then I'm walking up A flat B uh, sorry A flat B flat B D flat okay so then we get to the chorus and the chorus starts on the six so um, I also like to follow the melody on this part so this is the chords that I'm using so um, the left hand I have the six which is the A flat I have the E flat G flat on the right hand the chord could be B E flat G flat A but in this part I actually like to leave it a little open as well so I go instead of 
So I'm just doing A flat, E flat, G flat, B, A flat. Then I'm doing a B flat, G flat, A flat, and then the right hand D flat, E, and B flat. Then I'm just doing a regular one chord. So B, G flat, D flat, E flat, B flat, B, and then a regular E on my left hand. Um, I'm doing a, an E, G flat, A flat, B, G flat, B, E. You can double up or you can leave it more open, whatever, whatever you like. I personally like to leave it open on these songs. Then one. So B, G flat, B, and E flat just to leave it open. And then the five we've been doing. And then again. So the third time around, the bass walks down while the melody goes up. So I'm walking down B, the one, B flat, the seven, A flat, the six, G flat, the five, and E, the four. So one, seven, six, five, four. And then the right hand walks up the melody, B, D flat, E flat, G flat, A flat. So it sounds like this. And then um, we go to the one again. So that whole section sounds. I'm doing right there is a E B. I'm just have a one over it, so I have a G flat, B D flat, E flat, G flat. Messing. One. Okay, so then we get to our bridge. The bridge starts on the two. So. So the chord um, for that. So instead of a regular. Um, six so what I'm doing I'm doing a five over the six so I have the B D flat E flat G flat over the D flat and then I have the one over the six so I have the six and then I have a G flat B D flat E flat G flat then I go to a four with the same one over the four then the one same five we've been doing so okay so um, I also sometimes do a full chord on the left hand and I leave it more open on the right, so I'll, I'll, sometimes I'll do things like this. So I have the C sharp, E, G flat, A flat, B, and then over here I'm just do playing with the melody. So I, I walked up A flat, B flat to the B, and then my left hand went A flat, E flat, G flat. And then I like to do this little cluster. It's a G flat, B flat, B. So it sounds. Um, I just do a regular E, E, G flat, A flat, B with the one over. Then one. Um, the BJ Putnam version does this little movement that I like. So it goes. On the one it goes. So G flat, A flat, B, D flat, E flat. The five. 
and then it walks these chords down. So it goes. It kind of does it with a, a little outlining the chord, so it actually goes. So I have the B flat and E on the left hand, and I walk it down to an A and an E flat. The right hand, I'm going G, D flat, then C, G flat. So I'm going. And then I go back to this chord, which was the a C sharp, E, G flat, A flat, B. Or you could leave it more open and do a D flat, A flat, B with the one on top. So. So that whole movement. You can make it a little, um, like a, a little bigger if you if you actually do the whole diminished chord. So if you do B flat, D flat, E, and walk it down, um, A, C, E flat. So like, that's an option as well. Um, so then that's the bridge. Every other time on the bridge, so the regular progression goes two, six, Four, one, five. The next time it goes two, six, four. Then it goes to the five over the, I'm um, oh, sorry, the one over the five. Five. And then we go to the four. So it gives it more of a suspenseful feel. So. So we're gonna start off by breaking down the melody um, of the ending. They also do it in between the verses and it goes like this. All right, so it starts on the E flat, A flat, G flat, back to E flat and then it goes G flat A flat B flat and then it does this little movement it's A flat B flat A flat G flat E flat then it walks out from the B B D flat E flat A flat then it walks up again B flat I mean B D flat E flat E flat and then it repeats it again. And to resolve, you do the D flat to the E flat, back to the D flat, B. So. Okay, and the chords that go with that, it goes one, we have our one chord, which is B, G flat, B, D flat, E flat, to the six. So we have an A flat, E flat, um, we have the G flat, B, and E flat. We ha we're walking it up. 
we go to the the four which is the E B with the A flat and then we go back to the uh, stay on the four and then we repeat it the one six four we stay on the four so I'm gonna play both hands uh, together slowly so we start on the four Um, if you guys have someone playing second keys or someone doing the synths, um, I would just do the the chord. So it would be um, while the melody is going. So you just follow that progression. So we go four, one, six, four, four again. I hope that helps. Um, have fun learning this song, Audigar Reigns. Um, have fun learning these chords. If you've noticed, um, these contemporary songs mainly um, are more open voicings. So um, try to experiment which notes you like, which notes you don't like. And if you have any questions, if you didn't get a part, make sure to comment and let us know. And I'll see you guys next lesson.